The Prophet ﷺ taught us to respect different cultures. And I want to give you the example of the sons of Arafida, Banu Arafida. And these are hadith in Bukhari and Muslim and other sources. But uh, Banu Arafida is a very beautiful way of saying Ethiopians. So these were Ethiopians, and they were Ethiopians who had become Muslims in the wake of the first hijra, which as you know was to Ethiopia, to Abyssinia. And then when Ja'far al-Tayyar came to Medina, they came with him. And they loved the Prophet. And they loved Islam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they loved Islam. And after fasting, a glorious month of Ramadan, can you imagine what that would have been like? Fasting with the Prophet in his mosque. Then when Eid came, they could not contain themselves. So they got out their drums, and they got out their swords, and they got out their spears. And in the mosque, they began to dance and sing and beat their drums and do spear dances and sword dances. And the Prophet ﷺ intervened, and he said, play your games, O sons of Arafida. He called them that. A, a title of respect. In one transmission, he says, play your game so that the Jews and Christians know that there is ampleness in our religion. So they continued to dance in the mosque. And he brought our beloved mother, Aisha, and put her on his shoulders so that she could watch. And she watched and watched until she was so tired. And then he let her go. She went back. So this is very important, isn't it? You don't have to have a commentary. But one of the things it means is that Africans will remain Africans. Because they become Muslims does not mean they have to become Arabs. They will be respected as Africans, and their culture will be respected.